What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Wanted to bring you this quick little paint video today. I painted this hood the other day for a buddy so I wanted to take the opportunity to kind of give you some of my tips on how you can get a decent paint job without a paint booth. It's summer right now so this is one of the best times to do this kind of painting when you're outside. The weather is nice and warm which is going to help you a lot and you're going to want to pick a day where it's not too windy so it's kind of just calm air so there's not a lot of debris and things like that blowing around that could possibly get in your paint job. So here you can see I've got this hood prepped. I've got the primer finished out with just some 600 grit and I already went ahead and cleaned this and now I'm going back and cleaning it again with wax and grease remover. Check out some of the other videos on the channel if you need to know how to get your parts prepped up to this point. But yeah, we're just going to wipe this down really well with the wax and grease remover and then I'm going to come around and back tape the whole bottom edge. I already painted the bottom side of this hood and now we're just doing the top side. So I'm just going to back tape the whole edge to prevent any overspray from getting on the bottom side. Now here's a look at something you're definitely going to want to pick up for when you're painting at home and you're going to see it on the bottom of my gun here. This is just a disposable inline filter. You can use this a handful of times before you need to throw it out and get another one. But these are pretty inexpensive. I think it's less than $10 a piece. And this is going to catch any moisture that are in your lines because most likely you're just using your air compressor at home and you don't have a filter set up on it. And next, also very important in getting a clean job, you're going to see me tack the panel off with a tack rag. You definitely want to get one of these. This is going to pick up any dust or little pieces of dirt or anything that fall onto the panel. You want to do this before you start spraying anything. So wipe your panel down with your wax and grease remover and then come back and I like to use my gun or an air blower to blow some air while I'm wiping the panel down with the tack rag. Once you get the panel tacked off, I'm going to go ahead and start spraying. We're going to start with one coat of sealer. And since it's nice and warm out, take advantage of this and use the slow reducer in your sealer. I recommend slow reducer in everything that you possibly can, so your, your base and your clear as well. This is just going to make it lay out a lot nicer and smoother. Now after about 5 or 10 minutes, your sealer should be dry and ready for the next coat. And something I like to do, a nice little trick that you can do to check and see if you're ready for the next coat, is just touch the tape and you'll be able to tell how dry or how wet the paint still is. So as long as you're good and dry, you can go ahead and tack again before you start spraying the base coat. And if you're spraying solvent base coat, you can even tack between each coat if you'd like or if you notice that any little specks have gotten in the paint. So a quick tack here and then I'm going to start spraying my first coat of base and we're just going to do a good standard 50% overlap here. I ended up doing three coats of base here to cover and here you can see me tacking again in between coats. Now here's another tip if you do get a little speck or something in the paint that you want to take care of and the tack rag is not getting it out. You can take a piece of 800 grit or 1000 and just lightly work on the piece of debris. I like to just move the paper in only one direction. And definitely make sure the paint is completely dry before you do this. You don't need to apply a lot of pressure when doing this either. Once you get the piece of trash out, you do need to go back and put another coat on where you sanded or the scratches are going to show up. 
you don't have to do a full another coat you can just dust some base on the area and blend it into the surrounding areas So once you're happy with the coverage and taking care of any pieces of trash that you can, we can go ahead and tack one last time and start applying clear coat. We're going to do two coats of clear. Make sure you spray this how you want it to look, nice and wet. You want to avoid any dry spray. This is generally easier on a flat panel like this, but it definitely can be a balance of getting it good and wet without running it. Definitely use the tape trick here on gauging whether or not the clear is ready for the second coat. The tape should feel a little bit tacky. You'll leave a fingerprint, but you don't want to be pulling up any clear and it shouldn't be stringy when you put your thumb into it. If it is, then it's still too wet. But if it's just a little bit tacky and leaves a fingerprint, it's ready for the second coat. It was super hot on this day and I was using a quick clear, so by the time I finished with the first coat and got back to the other side of the hood, I went ahead and just put another coat on. Also if you are painting outside like this, once I finish with my last coat of clear, I like to pull the part inside as quickly as possible to let it dry. That way there's less chance of anything falling on it and landing in the clear. So just get it someplace safe inside or at least underneath some sort of awning to prevent anything from falling into the paint. Now in the unfortunate event you do get something in your clear, here's a trick you can use to get it out if you move quickly. Take a piece of masking tape and fold it up so it's sticky on both sides and you're going to want to use the sticky edge and carefully use it to pick up any piece of trash. If you used a slow reducer and you get it pretty quickly while the clear is still good and wet, in a lot of cases you can do this and if you do it nice and light the clear should flow back out where you picked up the piece of trash and it should look fine. Worst case scenario, you can always wet sand and buff this area later after the clear is dry, or you can go ahead and put another coat of clear on and it should hide anything. So that is going to do it for me today. These are just some of my tips on how you can get a pretty good paint job without a paint booth. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found these tips helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and consider hitting the thanks button. Hit the subscribe button if you are not already. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below. But for now, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome week and we'll see you in the next one.